hey hi everyone this is admin from admin 365 and today we are going to talk about how to set up forwarding on an office 365 mailbox so let's get started before we start the topic a small introduction about me i currently work as microsoft 365 support ambassador for microsoft our day-to-day -day routine is to take care of service requests created around Microsoft 365 products and services. So please do consider subscribing for exclusive content and the resolutions for common issues with Office 365. And let's resume the topic. So for us to set up forwarding on a mailbox in Office 365, be it a user mailbox or a shared mailbox, we can do it from the admin center as well as we can do it from the mailbox itself. So from the admin center, let me just show you how we can do it. Uh, you just have to go to office.com and sign in with the admin account. Once signed in, uh, we just have to click on the admin tile here. And under admin center, we can do it from the office 365 admin center and we can also set it up from the exchange admin center. So we will do it from the office admin center. All right, so once we are in the office admin center, which is Microsoft 365 admin center, we just have to go to users and then active users. And in active users, we just have to search for the user mailbox, which we want to set a forwarding on. For example, consider this as a mailbox, which needs a forwarding to be turned on. So click on it. And we'll go to the mail tab here. We'll click on that and here you will see an option manage email forwarding and you can see it as applied as well that means that uh, it has forwarding enabled already so uh, we can click on manage email forwarding here and in this option you can see here forward all emails sent to this mailbox and the forwarding email address you can add the email address which you want to send your emails to I would recommend having this checked here basically it will store a copy of that email in your inbox or the folder where it was received plus it will forward a copy to the forwarding email address in that way uh, you will have two copies of the email one on the original mailbox and the other on the forwarded mailbox so once you add the email address and select the option which you need here and you can hit save changes at the bottom i have it as grayed out right now because i have a forwarding email address already set up we can do it for only one user at a time if you want to forward it to multiple users you can add a distribution list here so if you have multiple external user where you want to forward your emails to from a specific mailbox you can create a distribution list and uh, also you can, you will have to create a mail contact a mail contact having an external email address where you want to deliver the email and once the mail contact is created with an external email address you just have to put the mail contact into the distribution list and then the distribution list will be added in here where we see the abc at xyz.com once you add the distribution list here and enable the forwarding it will send it to the distribution list and then the distribution list will distribute it to all the mail contacts within there it can also have the user within the tenant as well the n numbers of users can be added to the distribution list and can receive emails as forwarded emails on them there you go if you have any question you can let me know in the comment section and you guys have a nice day